Hi, I'm Nikki, the obsessive bookseller, and we are not in my library right now. I am actually in Tacoma, Washington, and we are about to check out a used bookstore. I'm hoping to hit a couple of them on the way home as we make our way down the coast. I'm really excited. There are a whole bunch of holes in my collection, things that I want to pick up but can't seem to find any good copies online. So. I know there's a bunch of hidden treasures in these stores for me and I can't wait. Specifically, I'm on the hunt for any signed copies by Robin Hobb because I know she lives up in this area and I've seen her post things about, I just visited X used bookshop and left a bunch of signed copies. So that's number one on my list. I'm also really enjoying the Malazan series by Steven Erickson and they are really hard to get a hold of if you want the old like kind of cartoonish looking covers I love those so I'm hoping to find a few more here this is a huge shot in the dark but I'm also searching for the Legend of Dritz series by R.A. Salvatore they there's a specific cover that they came out with a bunch of new like special edition hardcovers and I remember thinking at the time that I really wanted them but didn't want to spend the money on them and I figured, oh, they'll always be available. Nope. That would be my miracle find, specifically the Dark Elf trilogy. Anyway, let's get shopping! Okay, I am in... book heaven right now okay I didn't find the ones I was specifically looking for but I still think I ended up with a good haul this is the short list I'm probably bringing most of them home okay so after careful consideration these are the ones I'm putting back and these are the ones I am walking away with today. Holy crap. Okay, second bookshop. Awesome. Okay, this stack of books is what we ended up with. Get a little sneak peek at the top. It's about 10 titles and I found the mega find in this little bookshop and I can't wait to share it. Okay, day two of book hunting. This is turning into an unintentional thing, but I'm loving it. We're in a really small town in Oregon, but they happen to have three small used bookshops. So we are going to hit those up before we head south. Can't wait. Okay, that first one was a really cute little bookshop and it actually did have a lot of variety for science fiction fantasy but mostly mass market paperbacks and I am currently in the market for trade paper and hardcovers that you can't get anymore. So I did not walk out of there with any books. On to the next one. This display makes me so happy. That second place had a lot more what I was looking for, so I forgot to show you before I packed it away, but I brought home 11 more books. Okay, so every stop we've made so far into gift shops or whatever, we've been kind of looking for dragons to bring home. And in this little gift shop, we did a thing. Yeah. He's definitely coming home with us. Hey, this next one has an airplane attached to it. This is gonna be good. Bingo. Oh my gosh, I didn't go far enough. In the back there is a solid 
wall of fantasy hardcovers. <sighs> okay, I have to check the top two to make sure I haven't already picked them up, but this is what we are walking away with today. I have problems. Okay, on my way out, I was walking past this, like, locked cabinet and saw Kushiel's Dart by Jacqueline Carey, an inscribed edition, and it is a beautiful copy. I have not been able to find anything in hardcover, so even if it didn't have her signature in it, I would be picking this one up anyway. I cannot believe I lucked into this. Ouch. Okay, so the back of the car is absolutely crammed with books. I came on this trip, there's more in there. I came on this trip with the intention to spend about 300 on used books and we are <laughs> well past that. Okay, that last place was a bust. It had a couple of good titles, just nothing that I was looking for. So we are headed about an hour down the coast to a place called Books and Bears. And I'm expecting a lot of both. Hopefully more books though. All right, so I must be getting close to maxing out on all of the things I still need to find because that one had a decent little variety, but nothing that I needed. We did pick up a title for my husband Earlier in this used bookstore trek, he would just wander around while I was finding my books, but somewhere along the way he found an Arthur C. Clarke book that he was interested in, and now he is on the hunt for the rest of the series, and is just as excited as I am to go into the bookshops. This is awesome. We are done for the day, we are headed to the Redwood Forests, and probably won't hit any more used bookshops until we start the long trek home after that. I think we're good. If I don't pick up any more books this trip, then I'm probably set. But uh, it has been such a fun way to just stop along the road, really appreciate the little towns that we've been in. It's been awesome. That was an incredibly long day of traveling and book hunting, and we're exhausted. We have finally settled in for the night, and we are not even halfway home yet, as I mentioned, so I am sure there are going to be just as many cool bookstores to explore between here and there. So I am going to split this video up into two parts, and I'll cover the second half in a later video, and I'll also be doing a massive book haul, you can imagine, maybe more than one, when I get home to show you everything I picked up. So yeah, thank you for joining me along this journey and I hope to catch you next time. Bye.